Hello everyone, welcome back to DSW YouTube channel. Hope you liked our previous content related to this series known as Data Hacks. We are back with our next hack. But before starting that, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press that bell icon so that you get notification every time there is a new video from our side. Let's begin then. In last video, we discussed different pre-processing techniques that can be done before applying to machine learning model. Today, we are going to discuss an important yet ignored topic in data science that is creation of environment and using that environment to make developments to your project. Before starting with today's topic, there is an announcement that we want to make. We are organizing a giveaway of Amazon voucher worth Rs 500 or equivalent to same in the currency if you reside outside India. To know more about this giveaway, stick till the end of the video. So let's continue with today's hack topic. Environment creation is basic yet essential step in field of data science as there can occur a case where you need to manage different projects and for the same different packages are required so you cannot populate your complete OS with all packages because they may create conflicts many times so it is better to create different environments and use them effectively. We are going to start by showing how to create an Conda environment for that first of all we will require anaconda to be installed anaconda brings all the tools required for data science and machine learning work at one go along with it it is also used to manage different environments which can have different versions of packages or libraries so we will install anaconda by going to the official website of anaconda and there are different versions present for different os we have pasted the link for linux and max os version in the description box below Installation is different for all OS, but Anaconda commands to create an environment install packages will remain same irrespective of OS. There are different versions for Python 3 and Python 2 respectively. We will move forward with Python 3. Let's download it and install it. I have already installed it so I will move forward with environment creation. Now to create an environment using Anaconda, you need to open your command prompt and simply type the line conda create double dash and the name of your environment. So we will take name of the environment here as DSW. When you move forward with it, it will ask certain permissions. So you can simply type Y and move forward. Now the environment is created. Conda activate will help us in activation of an environment we have created. To deactivate any environment, simply type command conda deactivate. You can activate this environment using the conda activate dsw command. Now as you can see my environment is mentioned before the path of the directory. So it is an indication that environment is, has been created. Now we will install some packages like pandas and matplotlib. Both are very popular packages in data science world. Pandas is an open source tool for data analysis and manipulation. Whereas matplotlib is an open source data visualization tool. So we will install these packages by simply using following commands. pip install pandas. pip install matplotlib. A package is a directory containing all the python files for a particular library. The pip word in the command is a package management system that can be used to download and manage packages used in python. To see all the list of packages installed in a particular environment we will simply type the command pip list and we will see a list of all packages. So these are all the packages right now in the environment. Now we will close this environment using conda deactivate and then create another environment to show how these environments are independent entities. So let us say conda create double dash name dsw1 proceed y and then conda deactivate dsw1. First of all see the pip list. There is no pandas and matplotlib installed. Hence both of these environment are different. We can view the python version for this dsw1 environment by using simple command python space double dash version. So here we can see python version 3 is installed. 
Suppose we want to go for Python 2 for this environment. We can simply do this by conda install python equal to 2.7 or any version preferable to you. You can proceed by clicking Y to install Python 2. After Python 2 installation, now we will type the command python space double dash version again. Now we can see that Python 2 is installed in DSW1 environment. Now what happens if any pip package is found broken? We have an alternate for that also but that is kind of manual installation. We can download the wheel file from every pip package by going to this site for which the link is provided in description box below. Wheel is a built-in package format for Python. A wheel is a zip format archive with a specially formatted file name and the wheel extension. It is designed to contain all the files for a PEP 376 compatible install in a way that is very close to on disk format. Now let's download the wheel file for pandas by going to the website and selecting the compatible version for our OS. Then we can install it again by using command prompt by going pip install and then the complete name of the downloaded file. We can see that now this package is also installed in our environment. So this was all about working with CPU functionality but one of the major issues that we came across was installing TensorFlow GPU in the system that requires a lot of manual installation and brainstorming regarding the versions required for CUDA and CUDA NN but Conda provide a beautiful solution for that it can be done in a single line of command and that command is conda create space double dash name name of the environment that is dsw underscore gpu space tensorflow dash gpu now this single line of command will directly create an environment named dsw underscore gpu and then install tensorflow for gpu in that environment with all compatible versions of CUDA and CUDA NN already installed. So now there is no need to go here and that and visit multiple websites to check the compatible version and then install. Now the TF GPU is up and running and you can see the same for further workarounds and project works. That is it for today. You have seen how to create an environment, how to install packages in the same if you have any doubts or any queries regarding any of the above topic, shoot them in the comment box below. We will try to resolve it as soon as possible or if you have, if you want to make us video on some particular topic or you can recommend or you can put your suggestions in the comments as well. So we will try to cover them, cover them as well. Regarding the giveaway part we are going to provide a free amazon voucher worth rupees 500 or equivalent to the same in the currency preferred by the winner only one lucky subscriber will uh, which will be announced in our next video so don't forget to watch our next video too for the same now how to avail the prize you just need to subscribe to our channel like this video and share it amongst your friends as maximum as possible also don't forget to comment on your email id and instagram id in the comment sections so that we can contact the winner easily these are some simple and easy steps that you need to do and boom you are eligible for the prize see you until next time don't forget to give thumbs up if you like this video also share it amongst your friends and colleagues to spread the knowledge thank you